Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Vladimir Proknevsky and today I will show you five useful Photoshop tips that you may not know about. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our tip number one. And it is an easy way to flatten layers. So this one is so simple, I love it. I use it every day. So let's say you're trying to get a flattened layer of all the layers. So without having to, let's say, like merge all the layers together, like so, or maybe, I don't know, a flattened image where it just puts a layer already flattened. It, it's too complicated, then you have to uh, control Z and all this, all this other stuff that's unnecessary. Now this one is a simpler way of achieving the same result. If you click on the very top layer that's visible, so if you click on this layer that's not visible, it won't work. So make sure you click on a visible layer. And then if you're a Mac user, hit Shift, Option, Command, E. Photoshop will automatically create a flattened layer up above, like so. There you go, so you can see it right here. It's already flattened. Now if you're a PC user, just uh, hit Shift, Control, Option, E, and you will get the same result. Tip number two is fastest way to isolate a layer. So let's say you're working on a very complicated project that has multiple layers and let's say you want to view just one layer at a time. For example, you have this logo and you want to just view it isolated, just view it by itself. To achieve that, you would probably just turn off the background and turn off all these other layers. There you go, you got this, a great result, you isolate it. But you know, if you have 10, 15 layers, this will take you all day long to unclick on all these layers. So the fastest way to achieve this is simple. If you just press and hold option on your keyboard and navigate to this little eye icon and just click on it while holding option, ta-da, you got the result. Now, while holding option again, if you click back on the icon, it'll put it back where it was. And that's the easiest little function, but I guarantee you'll save so much time on your next project. So this is our tip number two. Now, tip number three is my personal favorite. I call it layer strip. Let's say, I'll show you real quick. Let's go ahead and select this logo on the right. Let's make sure it's the right one. Let's double click on the layer. I'll show you what I mean by layer strip. So let's go ahead and add a stroke to, let's go ahead and move it to the left so you can see to this logo. Let's go ahead and make it dramatic. Let's just make it big so you can see better. And click OK. So let's say, for example, you wanted to do more to the stroke. If you double click on the layer, you can go back to the stroke and you could do some adjust adjustments. You can lower the opacity and increase the size and other things color. But what if you wanted to move the stroke behind? You know, it's you can't really do much because it's all in one. It's, uh, the logo and the stroke are combined in one. Well, there's an easier way of uh, achieving this. If you simply click on Layer, and then scroll down to Layer Style and click on Create Layer, Photoshop will automatically separate those two fun or two effects. So stroke you got separate, and you got the logo separate. So now you can just click on the stroke and let's just I don't know move it a little bit like so. So now you can uh, have control with your stroke. So that's one cool thing. Another cool thing, let's select this one for example. Let's say we decided to, let's move this to the right, decide to add the stroke. And again, let's make it kind of dramatic. And this time, let's go ahead and add inner glow. Let's say, let's make it visible to where it's a little dramatic as well. And you can do the same thing. For example, now we added a third, or with stroke and the inner glow. So Photoshop technically should create three layers. So let's, for example, let's go ahead and do again while selecting the layer make sure it's the right one go to layer layer style and scroll down to create a layer so as you can see photoshop's here's your uh, glow right here here's your logo and there's your stroke so that's pretty cool so it doesn't matter how many things you add it will just separate it in different layers so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and turn that off and i want to show you something else that's pretty cool oh whoops my bad Turn everything off, and let's bring in my son. This is his name is Ashton. He's probably three or four months in this picture. He's currently 19 months. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's double click on this layer and uh, add a drop shadow. Uh, by the way, most people don't use this, but you can just hold Shift on and click on the picture and drag the uh, shadow below instead of having to use this. You don't have to hold Shift while doing this. It's just when you hold Shift, it drags it directly down. If you release shift, it'll just go left and right and everywhere. So I wanted to put it slightly below. And let's go ahead and adjust the size slightly so it's not it's a little bit more spread. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I am just want to make it quick. So let's click OK. And the same thing, let's separate the uh, shadow and the pictures by clicking Layer. 
layer style and create a layer just hit OK so now we see the picture we see the background or the shadow so let's go ahead and adjust the shadow let's uh if uh, on Mac users just press command T to edit this image and let's uh, click on the warp mode right here real quick and you can just tuck in the middle a little bit like so and let's do the same thing to the sides just to be consistent again I'm not trying to make it perfect I'm trying to make it quick and hit enter and again now you can adjust it you can lower it a little bit you can adjust the opacity slightly like so but anyway it creates a cool little shadow again I didn't make it perfect but you get the idea so yeah this is our uh, unique tip that you probably use every day from now on anyway this is our tip number three tip number four is color sampling outside of Photoshop and this one's pretty cool I use this one every single day I kid you not for example let's say you're working on a project and uh, you you have a browser open and you like the color on the browser or let's say it's an image and you want to sample the sample the color well back in the day I would probably just take a screenshot or if it's an image I would right click and save it then I would bring it to the Photoshop but then I would click click on the eyedropper and sample it like so you know there's the color well there's an easier way of doing it you don't have to this is just too many steps you have to save it then you have to worry about it then you you have to make sure you delete it later on and if you don't it clutters your desktop so anyway it's just a pretty long ordeal so if to avoid that you just simply press I on the keyboard or select the eyedropper tool and while in Photoshop left click on your mouse and hold it it's important that you hold left click and simply drag it over to the browser and just release so now we have a color sample right here now if you if you click on this tool and you you don't hold and drag over this is what's gonna happen so let's say you click on the tool and it just you'll take it to the website so you don't want to do that anyway so that's our tip number four I hope it helped and tip number five is how to import a selected layer into a new project this one's actually pretty cool but whatever you do make sure before let's for example let's select this logo right here make sure you rasterize the logo first if it's an object so let's rasterize this real quick. It's been rasterized. Now press Command and hold Command, and then left click on this box right here to get the selection. So while the selection is, while you see the selection, press Command C to copy the selection, and then Command New to create a new or a new project. And so if since you already have the selection right here Photoshop will automatically put in the width and the height of the selection so it's pretty cool you don't have to guess what it is so simply press OK and then command V to paste it so that's one way of doing it. it's pretty cool now if you have text you don't have to rasterize text the same thing just select the layer and then press command while or while holding command left click on this little box right here to select it and then you can do the same thing control C to copy it and uh, control N to create a new project and automatically puts in the proper dimensions so press OK and then you control V it now you can't see it because of the layer let's go ahead because it's white on white there it is it's right there you're just gonna have to trust me anyway this is our last tip of the day tip number five if you enjoyed watching this tutorial feel free to share it make sure to like it like us on Facebook uh, follow us on Twitter visit our website ukromedia.com Again, thank you so much for watching this and uh, stay tuned for future tutorials.